Hi everyone, Nevada Nail Person. So today I'm going to be sharing the SE Spring line with you and I have some notes here as well so I'll be looking down. Um, these are six polishes, they are all creams and my first initial thought is the polishes are deceiving that they look kind of um, ordinary in the bottle but when you put them on they get a little better. So let me jump into it and share my thoughts on these polishes and share some video and close-ups as well. So let's get into it. So this first polish is called Backseat Besties and this particular polish is a bubblegum cream pink and it's uh, I got a good reaction to this on Instagram. Um, it is quite, um, it was kind of streaky on the first coat. The second coat is, was better and that tends to happen with these kind of polishes. So overall, not my typical shade of polish, but I really did like this polish. So again, a surprise. So this is Backseat Besties and it is a beautiful hot pink, like a bubblegum pink. I don't want to say hot, but let's just say bubblegum pink for now. This particular shade um, did throw me off. This is called Designated DJ. And that is the polish. Hoping I get it to focus good. So this particular polish is, I described it as like a blackberry plum shade. And two coats for full opacity and um, kind of odd to have a dark shade like this in a spring collection. It was quite pretty though. Um, I don't want to say the most unique. It was pretty and it was messy too. When you remove this it stained my cuticles, stained my finger. So um, this was probably my least fave out of this particular bunch but again it is a pretty polish and it, I'm looking at the little screen and it appears to be picking up the correct color. So if you're into dark colors, maybe this is for you, but I thought this was a little dark for us personally for a spring shade. So that is called Designated DJ. This next shade, this beautiful blue, is called All the Wave. And my first thought on this polish when I saw it was that reminds me of another polish from Essie. <laughs> they do some, some nice blues as well. So then I was flipping through, it must have been Instagram, and I saw, I think it was Loot the Booty. So I went and checked the closet to see if I had, still had it, and I did, and it's completely different. Loot the Booty has a shimmer to it, so although the shade is kind of close, this is not shimmery. So. That is um, all the wave. It is um, two, It takes two coats for the full opacity. Um, this does not have shimmer. Um, and the thing is, it, it almost, you really, I don't know if you could tell, but it's almost like a, it has like a, sh a hint of purple in there as well. So I don't want to call it a true blurple, but um, it's a blue that, almost has a, a teensy tiny drop of purple in there as well. So that is all the wave. Next shade, very pretty, another one. Um, wasn't expecting this. This is called Baja Moment and it's a pinkish red or a reddy pink. Uh, two cat coats for full opacity. I was kind of Meh, on this one. It's really nice. I did get a, um, a pedicure with this, so it was kind of nice to have a pinkish red. I haven't worn a shade like this in a while, but again, nothing very unique, but very pretty too. So, um, that's that. Uh, the next shade is called On the Roadie, and this is On the Roadie. And I described it as a vibrant Kelly green, and it is very um, vibrant, not not a neon, but again a bright, a definite bright. Um, 
it was almost, I want to say a little bit squishy, like almost like a, it had a touch of gel or a jelly in it because it was very um, shiny and, and, and squishy, you know, that, that gel, uh, jelly type formula. So very um, interesting to have a polish like this where it was kind of almost a hybrid of a, a jelly and a cream. So it was a pretty good um, application. I really like this shade and there you go. This is called On the Roadie. And the final shade and the one I saved for last was I thought going to be my least favorite and it actually turned out to be my favorite. This is called Excuse Me Sir and it's Sir with S-U-R. And this particular shade, it's what I have on now, I'll show you in a moment, is a, a bright peach, like a neon-esque peach shade. It doesn't look all that impressive in the bottle, but when you put it on your hand, let's see if I can get that in there. It, it almost gives me like those tan vibes. I don't know if it's quite picking up. But that's the first thing I noticed when I put this particular polish on, that it almost looked tan in, in, in a natural lighting. So these kind of shades are my faves. So it's definitely like a light peachy shade, but almost as a, a bright, not a neon, but a definitely a bright shade. So this turned out to be actually my favorite in the whole collection, and I saved it for last. Not int intending to save the last for best for last, but what I thought was my least favorite. So, excuse me, sir. So overall, I, I was quite impressed with this collection. When I went to the store to pick it up, I wasn't that impressed, but then I wound up being impressed. So, I would say overall, definitely this excuse me, sir, this um, on the roadie, this vibrant green, and I would probably say all the wave because it's kind of unique in that it's that blurple type cream. One thing I did notice and take a, I, I'll just try to show you up close if I can. The bottle uh, is actually, I would consider this a reject. It's a little concave in here and it doesn't seem to fit the um, bottle as well. Like the cap is too loose. so. It I guess just in manufacturing, I just didn't get a good bottle. So just be on the lookout for that. I don't know if you can see the difference between the two. It's very minor, but there's just this little concave type. And you could see like on the edge, the edging, that it kind of stands out where the bottle top is, the actual glass part of the bottle. So just an FYI. So overall, yep, these two are winners and this blue tea too, even though it's a little defective and I have a concern it's not going to last that long. So that is it. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll leave the bubble here to subscribe. I'll leave all the detail below the polish names and um, subscribe if you can. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.